Hello, this is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with The Daily Dose. Today I'd like to talk to you about building immunity against the flu. Let's face it, on a day-to-day basis, day -day basis, we come in contact with a bunch of germs, be it staph, flu, strep, whatever. There's so many different microbes out there, be they bacteria, viruses, what have you. And there's some obvious things that, you know, we all know we're supposed to wash our hands. I'd like to advise you do not use antibacterial soap because it actually decreases the immunity on your skin. Your skin, just like your intestines, has beneficial bacteria on it. And if you use antibacterial soap, it will kill the beneficial bacteria. Yes, use soap, but use something gentle like Dr. Bronner's, for example. Um, stay away from sick people. That's always a good thing to do, too. And then some of the really important things you might want to do, in fact you should all do, is uh, drink plenty of water, plenty of uh, fresh, filtered, spring water is fine, but make sure it's filtered, no chlorine. The chlorine um, and the fluoride that's often in water actually depress the immune system. In fact, sodium fluoride and different other kinds of fluoride that are in your toothpaste also depress the immune system. And uh, so those are all things that you should bear in mind, but drink plenty of water. People ask me, well, why is water so important? Well, every single cell in the body needs water. You need water in order to eliminate toxins from the body. But what's particularly important when it comes to preventing uh, rhinoviruses and other colds, flus, etc., is that you have mucous membranes throughout your body, especially through your respiratory tract. And when the mucous membranes are well hydrated, it's very unlikely for them to become inflamed. If they get dry, they become inflamed and irritated, and then it's more likely that they'll get infected. So those are some of the reasons to drink plenty of water. Uh, I also recommend getting out there and getting plenty of air. In fact, do deep breathing. Uh, that's really important because it expands your lungs and avoids getting congested in the lungs when you're moving your ribs, your intercostal muscles, that's the muscles in between the ribs here, um, in the back and front of the body, so good posture also helps, and when you have upright posture, you breathe better. Getting out, getting fresh air is always really good, and then getting plenty of vitamin D. So a good way to, to uh, do that is to get some exercise, because exercise also boosts your immune system, and you'll know that people, probably you'll know that many people that do uh, get plenty of exercise regularly tend to get sick less often which is great. So why not combine all of those? Get outside, run, bicycle, um, get some exercise, hike, and try and do it in minimal clothing. Obviously don't scare people away and get arrested, but as much skin as you can expose to, um, to the sun for like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the, the fairness of your skin. Obviously the fairer your skin, the less time you want to stay out, and you can build up but that way you can absorb vitamin D, which also boosts the immune system and helps prevent you getting the flu. Now, in addition to all of that, um, there are some great herbs out there, wonderful herbs that are, that are good that you can take. Um, elderberry, for example, in a tincture or an extract. Uh, garlic's great. Astragalus, yerba mansa, yerba santa, uh, osha root. Uh, let's see what else did I forget to mention. Oh, medicinal mushrooms such as reishi, cordyceps, uh, shiitake, maitake. Um, wonderful mushrooms that boost many facets of your immune system. And those are always good things to do. You know, you've got to do that. But don't forget, avoid sugar. Sugar depresses your immune system. I know that's sad for those of you who love sugar, but sugar does depress your immune system. So um, if you want to eat chocolate, eat the dark chocolate, 70% or more. First ingredient should be cacao. And cacao can actually provide a lot of antioxidants and actually helps immune function. Um, but you want to avoid the really sweet stuff, you know, cakes, cookies, uh, any processed foods with high amounts of sugar. Remember, four grams of sugar is equivalent to one teaspoon. Uh, sometimes even fruit juices out there can have as much as 30 grams of sugar per serving. So keep your eye on all of that kind of stuff. Remember here at Enter Health Botanicals, we have plenty of herbs. In fact, most of those herbs I mentioned we offer here at Enter Health Botanicals. Um, so get healthy, stay healthy, avoid the flu. Now you know how to.
Thank you all for watching. This is Darren Craddock from Enter Health Botanicals with the Daily Dose.